Mm-hmm. So this is Saturday, the 21st of February here, but it's still Friday in LA. Martin Jakobsen, how are you? I'm um, good, thanks. Good. How are you? Yeah, very good. Uh, so you're in LA, that's what you told me. What are you doing there? Yeah, I'm in, uh, I'm in West Hollywood at the moment. Uh, just uh, vacationing with, with friends, uh, and then the plan is to stay here till uh, LAPC, mm-hmm. uh, which starts in about a week. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I should explain that as well. This is basically for uh, we're we're both Swedes, but still uh, because uh, some other people wants to listen to this as well, we we, we keep it in English. Now, uh, I, you've been on vacation since the last time we talked. Uh, did you go to the mountains? Didn't you? Yeah, I went to uh, Whistler before coming here. Uh, I was I was in Whistler for for ten days, and then uh, uh, the snow wasn't the best days. It's quite warm at the moment um, on the west coast overall. Um, so we went to Vancouver instead and uh, spent a week there, and then uh, uh, flew here a couple of days ago. Okay, so did you try skiing in Whistlers, or did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, yeah, we had a few days in, uh, which was nice. Uh, but at the end, it was uh, mostly raining. Okay, okay. Are you a big fan of skiing? Otherwise, yeah, I love, I love. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not skiing. I'm, I'm snowboarding. But yeah, I love uh, ski vacations. It's it's probably my favorite trips. Have you done that since you were a kid? Um, yeah, more or less. Uh, I think I started off skiing when I was little, mm-hmm. uh, and um, I tried snowboarding for the first time when I was maybe uh, uh, 13, 14 years mm-hmm. old, uh, and then yeah, I've been been boarding since then. Yeah, yeah, you never looked back, right? The average in like once uh, a week, once a year or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's nice. Now, have you have you been to Whistler's before? No, it was my first time. Uh, I've mostly been skiing in the, in Sweden uh, when I was younger, and then I I made two trips to the Alps, which was nice. But this was uh, a little bit different. Mm-hmm. The the mountains are huge. Yeah, 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 yeah. They were really big up there. Okay, so that was nice. How was Vancouver anyway? Oh, I love Vancouver. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's really really nice city. Mm-hmm. Uh, tons of uh, Good uh, food places, <laughs> which is always nice, and yeah, everyone was just super friendly, and the weather was nice. It was uh, sunny most of the time, and uh, unseasonably warm. Uh, so yeah, it was a it was a great time. Mm, I know I'm not sure, but I think you mentioned before when we talked about moving to other places because you mentioned that once that you might leave London, and uh, yeah. and you talked about a different place. Would Vancouver be uh, one of the places you would look into? Yeah, yeah, it would. Uh, it was actually one of the places, even without being there, I, I was actually considering moving there. Um, just seemed like a, a good option. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of similar to the U.S., but um, it's a good time zone. And um, uh, most and foremost, uh, poker is uh, still legal. So, mm-hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I, I haven't really made any any new moving plans uh, right now. I'm, I'm just happy in London. Yeah. yeah. Uh, have you looked into a few options on, on like uh, maybe closer to the equator? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, not really. Uh, not not as, of, as of late. Um, I think, uh, yeah, Vancouver would be a, be a great option, mm-hmm. you know, for uh, when you, when you want to settle down and maybe uh, start a family and... All right. Uh, but uh, but yeah, as of now, I'm I'm pretty happy in London. Yeah, I know. I mean, being in a, a tournament player, more or less only, um, would you prefer to play the big Sunday tournaments? Um, Vancouver is like nine hours uh, ahead of uh, eight hours ahead of start, oh, for London, right? Yeah, exactly. So that would be like uh, during lunch, the big the big tournament starts. Would that suit you? Yeah, even even earlier. Uh, yeah, we played a, played a few sessions over there, and uh, we started. Started like eight in the morning, uh, which means yeah, you're you're finished by by night time. So after after the session, you can go out to dinner and have a few drinks or do something. You know, that sounds uh, like uh, maybe a, a good thing. Yeah, of course, <laughs> it's mm. uh, it's uh, really nice, you know, to um, uh, to uh, to have the opportunity to uh, to live more of a, a normal life, not not waking up uh, in the middle of the afternoon and uh, have to have to play all night. Mm-hmm. Just feels so much fresher too. Like you, naturally, your your body's 
functions a lot better in, in every way uh, during those hours. So yeah, and you uh, sleep you sleep during night as you're supposed to, and and be waking yeah, the sun exactly. is up. Yeah, it's great. Mm, I understand. Um, I mean, when it comes to tournament play, you've always been a big EPT uh, player and had huge results there. Would you have you looked into the the live tournament schedule in the states and maybe Canada to be able to travel around there? Um, no, not really. Um, I think uh, I'll stay in London as long as I, I'll play poker anyway, at least uh, as a profession. Mm -hmm. um, so it's. I think that the EPT are are, um, are a lot better suited uh, for me at the moment. Uh, I think uh, currently, since um, since poker is still illegal in the U.S., it's uh, it's not something. It's not something they, they put a lot of effort into to promote like big big live tournaments because you right. can't run satellites to them, so right. it kind of hurts the games. Um, so yeah, for for now, I, I I definitely prefer the EPT with the exception of the World Series. Yeah, I, it's always been back and forth, and I I kind of try to follow the action and the political situation when it comes to poker, and I also follow Nolan Dalla, for example, who. Who talks a lot about this? Are you in in any way involved in it, or have people asked you about it? Do you have any opinion about the American situation when it comes to online poker? Um, no, not really. I, I haven't had any specific questions about it. Um, probably because I'm I'm not American. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, but it mean it would be uh, mean a big thing if if the Americans would be allowed to play online again. It would be a big boost for the po uh, whole poker community, right? For sure, yeah. Mm. So definitely yeah. a good thing. Yeah, we'll see what happens in the future. I mean, uh, are you planning to go to Malta? Uh yeah. That's uh, after LFPC. That's my my next plan. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I'm going home for a few days, but then mm. Malta and then the grand final for the World Series again. Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, LA, uh, the tournament in LA. Tell me shortly about that. Uh, well, I don't, I don't really know too much about it to be honest. Uh, I've never played LFPC, but uh, I hear it's a, uh, uh, it's a good tournament. Uh, so yeah, it should be, should be fun. Hmm. Is it a big, big buy-in? It's going to be a big field. Uh, it's uh, ten thousand dollars, I think. And uh, last year they had about five hundred players or so, and okay. it's not a re-entry, so. I mean, it's pretty good as far as a uh, live tournament goes in, in the U.S. at the moment. Are there also any side events like high rollers or any other events? Yeah, they uh, they have a few, uh, quite a lot of side events um, uh, before, and then I think the they finish off the series with a, a 50, 50 k six max turbo. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. Well, is, uh, is that something we'll you consider playing? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Are you? Are you? Uh, I mean, the, the the average player in in a high roll tournament is obviously better usually than uh, a normal tournament. Um, what, what do you think of turbo tournaments on that level? Um, well, turbo tournaments takes away a lot of the the skill edge, as obviously because the the structure is, is so much faster. So mm. you have to rely more on. There's more luck involved, uh, at least in the short run. Um, and obviously, if you're just playing a 50k super high roll or turbo uh, once, it's there's there's a lot of variance involved. But uh, uh, at the same time, it's uh, it's fun, you know, to have to play something like that every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as you don't like add one of those like to every stop. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. The the poker economy too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. When when we come to uh, Malta, that's about a month from now, uh, a bit more. Um, do you, have you looked at the schedule there? Are you going to play many tournaments besides the uh, main? No, I haven't, I haven't seen the schedule yet. I, I wasn't even aware it was out. I, I just looked at the grand final schedule, uh, which I think looks looks really nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the grand final in Monte Carlo, that is, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Um, okay, so that's good. Um, besides that, I mean, how's uh, you you still working out a lot or even more? Yeah, I try to. <laughs> Are you fit? Yeah. Sorry? Are you fit? <laughs> I try to try to stay fit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's a it's a bit tougher uh, when you're traveling. You know, you you go out to restaurants a lot, and 
not necessarily eating the the most healthy food for you, but just gotta try, you know, go grocery shopping and uh, be uh, be selective and uh, yeah, try try to be creative in, in your workouts. And right now, for example, we're we're staying in the hills, so we're trying to uh, push each other and, and go sprint up the hills every morning and. <laughs> Really, yeah, it really helps. It gets easier every time. I know also that you've been developing a little bit into yoga. Um, are you are you practicing yoga some? Uh, yeah, on and off actually. Um, that's another thing that I, I think it's it's tough when you when you're traveling. Yeah. Um, especially when you're not surrounded by other people who who does it regularly. Yeah. You really, to have a, a good self discipline to to do it. Um, I am I'm more into like. Um, I'm more into like uh, uh, more physical uh, oh. uh, exercises. You know, I like to, yeah. to push myself. Yeah. Is it? Is it? Um, do you pra- you don't practice cardio that much. Is it more muscle building, or is it also? No. Uh, yeah. Hill hill sprints is definitely cardio. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. Yeah. No. I, I, lately, I, I'm I'm focusing more on cardio than than building muscle mass. I I just think. It's it's more useful uh, in, in my everyday life. Mm. Okay, that's good. Uh, a week from now, there's a um, there's a annual meeting in Sweden for the Swedish Poker Federation. Have you ever been involved, or did you did you look into that for the Swedish market? Uh, I actually, yeah, I got an email uh, a few days ago. I haven't I haven't got back to that, but um, I got an invite to uh, to be part part of it or. Um, yeah, hopefully, uh, uh, hopefully I can contribute to uh, to better legislation in, in Sweden and yeah. Yeah, help in any way I can. Yeah, I think maybe they would like um, there's motions that you can put up there and have opinions on and so on. And of course, you're a good voice, <laughs> being a Swede. It's always difficult to, because there's a gap between the politicians that not only in America but in Sweden as well, right? Yeah. Do you think that's an? Uh, how could you come past a problem like that? Because there's a gap between the people that decide and the people that actually play poker. Yeah, no, it's really tough. Um, actually, I got a, I got invited to, uh, uh, to uh, hold a speech uh, in front of like five thousand uh, politicians and. Uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the the thing, but it, it's in the Globe Arena. Uh, and it's also being live streamed. Okay. Uh, it's yeah, on the yeah. 11th of March. Uh, Is it the TED Talks, TED Stockholm, or something? Something like that. Yeah, yeah. they have like 20, uh, 20 speakers, and they wanted me to get on stage and uh, talk a little bit about poker and risk, and um, yeah, how I um, how I managed uh, the risk management and investments and stuff like that. So, okay. Uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, it's a bit nerve-wracking, to be honest, but, uh, but it should be a, a good challenge. So, um, are you going to do it? Yeah, I think so. Wow! Yeah, why not? Cool, cool. That's really cool. Uh, that could be, definitely be a good opportunity, you know, to uh, to get something in the the right direction in, in Sweden. Yeah, for sure. Is is it going to be in Swedish or English? It's in Swedish. Okay, but it's going to sure. be live streamed online. We we're gonna stream. Yeah, I heard something about. It. Yeah, thirty thousand live stream streamers or um, how interesting, huh? Yeah, I need I need to make some more research about it, but yeah, yeah. I mean, there's there, there is life outside poker as well. Of course, now you're in the in the middle of it, and uh, would there be like, are you interested in some business at all uh, that is sort of similar to poker in any way? Yeah, I would I would like to start a, a business when. Um, when I don't feel like playing poker anymore, yeah, uh, I actually have a, a few business business plans I I wrote uh, about a year ago mm-hmm. when I was actually considering quitting poker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, nothing. Uh, I don't see myself quitting poker in in, in the near future, uh, at least for now. Um, but uh, who knows? Mm. Yeah, of course. Oh, what what a great opportunity to to uh, to do that thing in the globe arena. I really, I'm I'm looking forward to that. Eleventh of yeah. March, you said, right? Sorry, eleventh. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. 
I need to add one thing as well. Um, I read in the uh, I read about you had some charity reg, of course, on you when you played the final table, uh, and you decided to give away some money. How much was it, Martin? Um, well, it's uh, I pledged to give five percent of uh, my total winnings. Mm -hmm. uh, well, to total profit rather. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was uh, ended up being uh, two hundred fifty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand, and and that was we talked about the R E G before. What does it stand for? Uh, it stands for uh, uh, racing for effective givenness. Mm -hmm. So 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 uh, where did uh, where does this money go? Uh, half of it goes to. Uh, how it works is uh, you can choose, you sign up uh, and pledge to give a certain percentage uh, each quarter of the year. Mm -hmm. uh, and then um, uh, after each quarter you, you get to choose where you want it, where, where you want your donation to go. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's already uh, I think ten about 10 uh, different charities uh, that's been um, uh, carefully looked into about which which ones are the most effective ones uh, for the cost uh, and it doesn't need a lot of administration fees and, and whatnot mm -hmm. so issues uh, where you want your money to go uh, so there's different sec sections uh, for me to, uh, for example I I, um, uh, I felt like giving to uh, the animal charities because uh, I feel like that's that's something uh, a lot of people don't uh, don't consider. Uh, so it's 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 obviously a huge amount of money for for the charity, uh, but it's not it's not a lot of money considering how much I won. So uh, it, uh, for me, yeah, it just uh, it just felt like something I, I wanted to do. This is something you're going to continue with, uh, keeping that badge on you when you play. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I wanna, I wanna encourage other to to do the same thing, uh, and help help the charity to grow. And hopefully, uh, one day I'll have my own charity. But right now, I just want to focus on poker. So I think that this this uh, initiative is is great for me because uh, I don't really have the time to do all the research these guys are doing. Uh, and um, um, yeah. so yeah, it just works out great. Okay. Now we have. Um yeah, there was a big. I'm gonna show it here. Yeah, you've seen this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, seen it. <laughs> it, it. It's funny. It's it's a big uh, the dog yeah. you see the street. It's a big, and they had you on the cover of a sort of special, <laughs> big article. How did you like doing yeah. that? Oh no, it's great. Yeah, when I when I was in uh, Stockholm uh, a few weeks ago, uh, I went there for the UFC, and I got a few emails about. Um, uh, about interviews uh, they wanted me uh, to do, uh, so I uh, I went with the uh, yeah uh, Doggins Industry, uh, which is one of the uh, the major uh, uh, economy. Uh, yeah. It's a leading used. business paper in Sweden, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, and um, no, yeah, it was a it was a lot of fun, uh, and um, yeah, the they dressed they, you up. Sorry, they dressed you up a little they bit. Good, yeah. They borrowed some uh, some stuff from the uh, television studio next door. <laughs> yeah, 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 it looks really good. I mean, it's important to to uh, get out there and be seen in other media than poker media, isn't it? Yeah, sure. Mm, excellent. Yeah, it was refreshing for sure to do something outside of poker. You know, to to talk with someone who maybe doesn't know uh, as much about poker as you, obviously. So, mm. I. Uh, and yeah, and just the uh, just the opportunity, you know, that they wanted me in there and were interested in my story, and uh, yeah, it was nice. Very good, very good. Now, uh, how long are you staying in this house uh, that, that you're staying in? Uh, I wish forever, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm here till uh, the fifth of March. Okay. Uh, so another uh, another ten days or so. Okay, you there with some good friends? Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Are they all poker players? They're all poker players, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's all right. But you, you try to, to talk about other things as well, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, we haven't played much poker this trip, so mm. it's a vacation with apart from the end of it. Mm. 
Sounds good. Excellent. Now, we had our first issue of the Poker Magazine Sweden, the digital version where you were a part of. What did you think of it? Uh, yeah, no, it looks, it looks good. Mm. Uh, it's, uh, it's a bit sad that you had to quit the, uh, the magazine version. The pa uh, paper magazine. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's, uh, it's definitely better than just quitting the, the newspaper. And it's, I guess these days, too, it's, uh, everything's moving to more digital media. Like, no one's really maybe buying the like, newspapers or uh, oh. magazines anymore. Everyone's just buying them or reading them on their yeah, iPads. It's, or, yeah, it's, so, too, it's uh, too expensive. It's a shame because it was the best-looking ma poker magazine in the world anyway. And But, I mean, yeah. we're saving the rainforest or something, you know? Yeah, exactly. It's good, great for the environment, too, which yeah. is uh, obviously important. So, mm. no, I, uh, I like it. Excellent. Uh, good luck to you, and, and we'll stay in touch, and we keep an eye on you for the, uh, the, the... When are you playing the next tournament? What date are you playing? Was it 28th or something? 28th, I think, yeah, it's the day one of the main. I think there's only one day one. So. Mm. Okay, good luck with that, and we'll, we'll stay in touch, Martin. Thanks for talking to us. Thanks, man. <laughs> All right, take care.